Hey guys, and welcome back to the second Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you what all these different tabs up here do, and they're actually very simple to use once you get the hang of it. So let me show you how. So first, we'll start over here with File. This is very similar to most of the other programs. Really, everything is, except for, you know, Path, Object, Text, Filter, stuff like that. So you know you have new document new from template and they have a lot of templates open a file so then I could open it from a bunch of different files open recent and then revert save save as save as copy import a lot of this stuff is standard you know import for importing another image export print of course print you can just do control P that's basically the same in every program that can print document properties and close and quit so files pretty simple edit uh, is where you have copy paste paste in place paste style all those find replace duplicate of course all these have shortcuts that I'll be teaching you clone make a bitmap bitmap copy delete select all all these have shortcuts that are very easy and you can learn them to so there's all these that we'll get to view zoom this is kind of useful if you are in your project and you draw a square you're drawing another one and then you click it and you start to drag up then you accidentally drip, drag it way too far out and you get way too far out and you can't get back if you go view zoom drawing it'll put it to where your drawing is and you can see there's one there and there and now if I do it again I just deleted it so I can go view zoom drawing and it'll put me right to my drawing so that's pretty useful layer that would be to raise layer lower layer layer to bottom layer to top all your layer options object that would be like fill and stroke, symbols, ungroup, group. You know, of course, those all have the shortcuts that you'll be learning. Um, clip, mask, pattern, lower, raise the top. Rot all the rotates, transform, align, and distribute. Path. This one you'll be using quite a lot. It has, you know, your path, object to path, stroke to path, trace bitmap, trace pixel art. Union, difference, intersection, exclusion, difference. I mean, that's division. Cut path, combine, break apart, inset, outset, dynamic offset. So all these, you can see just about all of them have shortcuts. And that gets kind of tricky knowing all these shortcuts. But really, we'll just be learning the most important text. That'll help you change and customize your text and your, font to and your text tool. Now, filters are really cool. So if I have this square, if I wanted it to, let's make it actually a different color, let's make it kind of brownish, I can go to filters, and then the filters is one called textured, and I can do bark, and it'll make it look like bark, or I can do bevels, bright metal, oh, first you probably should get rid of the filter you just put on bright metal and then it'll make it look like metal depending on what color you have you can make it like a gray color it looks like metal or so that's what filters is you can just play through all those they're pretty cool extensions that would be like your range doc document export g code generate from path and in there there's one called interpolate now that's cool. I can actually demonstrate it really quick. If I have that and then I draw a circle, select them both with the shift click, extensions, generate from path, interpolate. Watch this. Let's see what the live preview would look like. Um, let's see if it'll work. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll show you that in another video. So, that is the extensions, 
and you can play with those and of course the help that has all this Inkscape manual about Inkscape gives you your version all the authors now there's a lot of those it's a lot of work um, so that's really a lot of the stuff up there now I can kinda demonstrate some of the most useful ones if you have a circle and a square and in this square whoops, and in this square let's make it red so you can tell them apart and up here is your uh, layer selection so I'm gonna bring it down to the very bottom and then there we go so if I select both of these with the shift click I can difference these if I go to path difference and it'll basically take the circle and jam it through the square and make a circle hole through it so let me do difference and there we go see now there's a hole in this square so that is very useful and if you wanted to do the opposite whoa, if you wanted to do the opposite you could shift click and select both of them and go to path intersection and that'll basically create a an intersection of that so that one's really useful for like creating a weird curvy shape that has to match it exactly so those are some really useful ones of course then there's union where you can draw like a square in a circle So if I make the circle a different color, like blue, if I shift click to select both of them, then union them, now they're one piece. You can't, they're just totally one piece. So that's the union, and there's also trace bitmap and all these, like the trace bitmap and trace pixel art, I'll do a totally separate video on. They're really cool like you can import a bitmap trace it and then it's a vector and you can kinda edit it it's pretty sweet and then you got all the object options of course those all have your shortcuts or if you wanted to align the square and a circle but you don't want to eyeball it there's a very easy way to do that and if you just shift click to select both of them up and do control shift a that'll open up your align and distribute dialog box so now you can basically put them however you want these two will center them exactly or you can just select certain ones like that Oops. or you can do it like that and that'll put it on different sides of the square I mean the circle so I can do like that or that and it'll just move that around so pretty cool whoops so that's super useful for like everything getting stuff aligned go ahead and delete those close out of the align and distribute and over here by the align and distribute is all your snap tools so if I draw a square and I don't want to use the align and distribute to line them up just do it really fast I can select that snap tool and now if I drag these square corners together it'll say you know like do you want to put these corner to corner and if you zoom in they are exactly corner to corner so that's really useful if you want to do it real quick just drag it up and boom so that's really useful for just stuff like that so I can just snap to the corner control D is copy so that's really handy just control D to copy and then bring it over so now I didn't even have to use the align and distribute box and all these are perfectly lined up so that's very useful and that's just basically the layout up here and if I draw a box here's your rotate tools make it a little longer
longer so you can actually see it rotating. Got your rotate tools. Of course, if you want to rotate it, let me go to path, object to path, and make this kind of interesting. Now, if you want that shape to just flip and you don't want to click this, you can click H on the keyboard, and that'll do that. Pretty useful. Uh -huh. It's dancing. So, that's those tools up here. You know, you got your undo button, redo, print, save, open, new document. And that's really the basics of all the tools up here. So, I hope you guys found this video useful. But if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.